Next one guys, another one that I've never come across before, so some absolutely superb games in this uh, in this haul. A blue label again, and it's Daffy Duck in Hollywood. So that's that one there, Weebly Winky. And again it's mint inside guys, really nice condition. So I've spent £100 on these and I don't think Sod's Law I'm going to afford to buy my um, uh, third tall bookcase that I need in uh, to, to, to put them on now. So uh, Next one guys, again there's a couple of these on the Mega Drive but I think this is the rarer, rarer of the, uh, the titles and it's uh, Turtles Tournament Fighters. That's that one there, another cracking cover as well. So Wee Willy Winky, not, uh, not there this time unfortunately. And again, there's no manual, but again, not uh, not the end of the world when you're only paying five pound. Right, next one. Again, I picked this up because it was blue label. I don't think it's uh, it's rare at all. In fact, most of the sports ones aren't uh, rare on the Mega Drive. So, total football. But again, I haven't come across it on my travels. So, uh, I figured for five pound a piece that uh, you know I might as well just put it. Put it on while, uh, put it into the collection while I can. So Wee Willy Wink is intact and it's mint inside. Alright, next one, again I've been after this one for a while, but uh, it does tend to go for a higher price, is uh, Donald in Maui Mallard. So again, blue label title guys. Wee Willy Winky there. And again, this one's really nice condition inside, complete. Next one, again, a title I've not heard before, but again, blue label. So it's a game called Red Zone. So we Willy Winky intact. And again, nice and complete inside. Another game, used to love this one back in the day on the Amiga. Um, I tra traded it recently on the Amiga, but chuffed to be able to get it on the Mega Drive. And it's Super Skid Marks. So again, Wee Willy Winky there, guys, at the top. And nice and complete, although the front cover on the manual is ripped, unfortunately. That's that one there. But uh, look forward to playing that one. Next one, again, another title I've not heard of before, but uh, Blue Label, and it's Subterranea. It's that one there, so Wee Willy Winky intact. And Mint inside. And two more left, guys. So, first one, the I believe it's the sequel to Dragon's Fury and it's Dragon's Revenge so the old uh, pinball I Tengen so that's that one there guys and again mint inside apart from some stickers on the cartridge which I'll have to see if I can get, get off so that's that one and then the final one guys again been after this one for a long time so £5 it went straight into the pile and it is Probotector so, as I say, it's been on my list for ages, this one, guys, but uh, never been able to get it for the sort of money that I was prepared to pay. So, that's uh, also known to um, uh, on uh, other systems as Contra. So, that's that one there, guys. Unfortunately, no manual inside, but again, for £5, I really wasn't going to grumble about that. So, that's, uh, that's that one there. So absolutely superb haul of games there guys, for £100 for 20 Mega Drive games and I'm sure if I priced a lot of those up individually it, uh, it, it was well worth spending, you know, more than I'd, I'd normally pay for, uh, for, for Mega Drive games but certainly in the long run I think some of those there at £5 a piece it's going to save me quite a bit of money so... Uh, let me know your comments as always guys and uh, yep 319 Mega Drive games now out of 524 for the full collection so as always guys thanks very much for watching and I'll put up another video shortly bye for now